Okay, excitement. So, um, I'm finally to the point where I'm going to start riveting the skin. Now you can see here I've got a lot of the rivets in place, as, as indicated down there, and up here and over there. Um, I There were several rivets that I was unhappy with and that I had to basically cut out and remove. The primary reason for that was typically because I just screwed up and I riveted the wrong thing, or I, I used a, a 3-4 instead of a 3-3, so the rivet was too long, or just something stupid. Usually, you know, kind of pull your head out problem. But we're there. First time I've ever done this. So uh, we're there. We're in a good place. I'm ready to start doing the skin. Uh, this is going to take a long time. There's a lot. So um, wish me luck. <laughs> Here we go. And just to be clear, all mistakes were corrected before I moved on. So riveting on the skin was a pretty cool but a really awkward process. There was a lot of, you know, reaching your arm all the way down into the skin area and uh, just do it, touching by feel, you know, wh where you're supposed to put the bucking bar. And uh, I, I was unsure and I, a little hesitant. I took my time. Which I suppose is a good thing. I mean, taking your time in this is always good. Making sure that everything is correct and uh, not going to you know, fail. And that's what I did here. The instructions are pretty clear and stress that you definitely should you know, do certain things at certain times. And boy, I cannot stress enough. Yeah, you absolutely need to follow their instructions here. Um, if you rivet the wrong thing at the wrong time, then you've effectively cut off access to some other important piece that has to be riveted at a certain point. So uh, read the instructions very carefully here and thoroughly and make sure you don't skip around or you don't go to uh, the wrong area first. I also wish I had a good headlamp. I think that would have been helpful if I had something strapped to my head that I could just look down these dark holes and actually be able to see. Instead, every once in a while, you see me leaning it over into a lamp I had turned on. Uh, light is important. Once you no longer have to stick your arm down the deep, dark hole, but rather can just work on stuff that's you know, readily apparent and easily accessible, uh, things become a lot more clear and you can solve these problems a lot more quickly and uh, cleanly. I, I definitely preferred working this. Uh, but I mean, that's, you know, that's part and parcel for the course, right? It's it's something that you're just going to have to get used to is, is working down in some areas that may be less than comfortable. And you can't let your product quality slip. I will admit that the two rivets on either side of the very tip of the nose ribs it's really tight in there, and I kind of went back and forth figuring out the best way to actually get those rivets in place. Uh, and ultimately, I settled on the tungsten uh, bucking bar, which just fit, uh, and then just putting sideways finger pressure on there to to get it uh, solid. And it worked. It worked out just fine, but uh, I felt like maybe I needed a smaller uh, bucking bar designed for really tight spaces that I, I just didn't have. I don't even know if they make such a thing. I mean, I'm I'm sure they do. This is this is probably a very solved problem. One other thing I found myself doing quite often during this process was after each rivet or each series of rivets, I would use the rivet testing uh, tool, which is just a little bent piece of metal with a hole in the end. Uh, to check that the rivet was the correct size. Um, and the way they showed me to do that is if you put the little tool on there, it should just be able to, you know, you just slide it up onto the, the shop head of the rivet, and it actually should hold that testing tool in place. And then if you flip it over, you should not be able to drag it through the gate. Um, and I tested that quite a lot on this just because, you know, I was always a little unclear or, or unsure of myself, I guess, um, and so I felt it was important to test more often than not. Your mileage may vary. Another interesting conundrum in this process is the eternal question where to put the camera. 
Now, I know that may seem like an unimportant detail in the grand scheme of things, but, you know, part of this is I want to document it, uh, both for you and for me, and I don't always have a good place to give views of what it is I'm doing. Uh, in fact, in some of the previous videos, there have been times where I set the camera up and then I promptly stood in front of it and you couldn't see what the heck was going on. Um, I have multiple cameras and I, I use them both, but sometimes I just still don't get the shot. So forgive me for that. I'm still very much learning this craft. Uh, and any advice or suggestions anyone has, please make them. I would love to have them. This is what I did this time, and uh, next time I'm going to work on riveting the rest of it. Fun! <laughs>